This the boss life, hey. yeah. yeah My bitch exclusive and she bougie, yeah Real life, no movie, whole lot of groupies Come here, get up Yeah, I'll be, come here, get up Come here, get up Look, all you have to do Right here So, JJ um, What did the little boy at school tell you? You could talk to me, you know that? You could tell me how you feel. I'm your mom. I'm the one that protects you. And, and I'm the one that makes you feel better. And what? What? Cut your hair? But you've never wanted to cut your hair until now, until you started your school. But JJ, you know you can't make others happy. That's not gonna make you happy. That's gonna make them happy. They're just jealous of you because you're, you're cool. You're the, you're a cool kid. No. They want your hair. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No. They're jealous no. of you. Student, no. you need to listen to me. Why are you crying? I think your hair is pretty. I love your hair. No. Thor has long hair. Yosito has long hair. No, you want to cut your hair like Saya? No. I thought you loved your hair. short like that you've always wanted it long that's why i never cut it when josiah w was small he had long hair too you want to see pictures of him the reason we cut it is because he he was okay with us cutting it i've always asked you since you were little and you always told me no so you you think Jaden, you think that just because okay so if somebody tells you to jump off a bridge, you're going to do it? You can't listen to people. You need to listen to yourself. I know. People don't tell me that. I know, but the, but you're cutting your hair because a little boy told you that you're a girl. You know you're a boy. I know you're a boy. Your teacher knows you're a boy. You're a boy. Boy, who said that long hair is only for girls? Who said that? Do you want me to show you pictures of little boys with long hair? Your hair is beautiful, Jaden. Look at it. I love this hair. Jaden, we could cut your hair. That's fine. I don't. That doesn't bother me. But I want you to feel happy with yourself. If, if long hair makes you happy, I know, Jaden. I told you we can cut your hair. But I want you to know that. I want you to know that I love you, and I want you. I want you to love yourself. Okay. Let me fix this. Come on. Okay, all of it off? No, like all of like Josiah's. Like Josiah's? That's all that's all off. That's no more beautiful long hair. Your hair's so beautiful, Jane. Mommy. Mommy I'll talk, I'll talk to daddy about it, okay? You want daddy to cut my hair? You want daddy to cut it? But I want it at the barber shop. At the barber shop? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I think your hair is so pretty. No, mommy, I want I know, DJ, we're still going to cut it. I'm just saying I think your hair is so pretty. It looks like my hair. Are you okay? Don't let no kids bully you, baby. Oh, mom, tell, tell, tell them, tell them, long hair is for girl, for boys and girls. It's for both. Oh, mom, I told them that. What you need, Jaden? You need to learn how to defend yourself. You need no, to, I don't want. So you're gonna, you're gonna let other kids tell you what to do. You're gonna let them punk you. No, mom, we cut my hair. Jaden, I know. I'm off of that. I'm not. We already told you about that. I told you that we can cut your hair. That's fine, but I want 
want you to cut it because you don't like your hair being long. I, I want you to feel comfortable because once you cut your hair, you're not going to have nothing right here. Mommy, cut my hair. Okay, give me a hug. I think you're so beautiful with long hair. I know, but only because you started school, you want to cut it. But but in the summer, me and Daddy tried to cut your hair, and you never wanted to. You were crying because Daddy was going to cut your hair. Why do you want to cut it now? Because. Remember when Daddy wanted to cut your hair? He was like, I'm going to cut Jaden's hair already. I'm going to do it today. And I was like, only if he wants to. And you said no. Oh, Mommy. Hmm. I want to cut my hair. Okay, but... You only do you only want to cut it because that little boy is telling you that you look like a girl. Okay. How about you know if you put it up, if you put it up, it, it won't be everywhere. It'll it'll be up. You'll you'll look more handsome. No, it looks me like right there. I won't do it so tight. Well, no, I'll do I it don't more want loose. to. Do you want me to do it more loose? No, I want to cut my hair. All right, we'll talk about this later, okay? We'll go. We'll finish talking about it. Let's go eat cereal, okay? I'll, I'll get you some new cereal. And I want you to have a good day at school. I don't want you to worry about anything. And I'm going to talk to your teacher today about the little boy. I'm going to talk to the teacher because that little boy's mom needs to teach him that not to be bullying kids because that's very very mean and how how would she like it if somebody was to bully her baby she wouldn't like that this is grandma time huh this is grandma what this is grandma it's summer right now but you're gonna be okay okay i'm gonna talk to that little boy's mom yeah. i'm gonna talk to her today because nobody's gonna make my baby feel anything about his long hair you're gonna be happy if you're happy i'm happy okay you look so beautiful my love you look so handsome for school Wait, well well i'll give you some time to think about it okay i think all you need is time it's because everything's happening to you right now but your classmates are gonna get used to you having long hair. They're not. They they're only telling you this because it's the beginning of school. But later they forget about it. No, I'm coming home. They forget about it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some time to think about it. Let's go. You guys, that has always been like my worst fear of being a mom. I'm like one of my babies getting their feelings hurt or just getting bullied in general. Um. And it just breaks my heart because, like, you could, no parent ever wants to see their baby get bullied because, you know, like, it's just, like, the worst feeling in the world. And right now, Jaden's being, getting bullied at school because, so basically this little boy was telling his classmates that Jaden was a girl. And Jaden was telling them, you know, like, I'm a boy. And because if Jaden doesn't know what's going on, I've always taught Jaden that long hair is for both boys and girls, that pink or blue is for both boys and girls, like everything is for everybody. And I feel like he's just so, he was so confused, you know, and he's like, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. And the little boy was still saying, no, you're a girl, you're a girl. So Jaden came home saying that, you know, he told me what happened and he said, now he's saying that he wants to cut his hair. And, um, I had a talk with him last night, and, you know, I'm trying to make him feel good about himself. And he told me that he still wanted to keep it, but this morning he woke up saying, you know, he kind of had a breakdown, saying that he wants to cut his hair. So, the reason why I've never cut his hair, growing up, Josiah and Jaden had both had... Um, as they were babies, they both had long hair. Even Josiah, I'll post pictures of Josiah having long hair. Um, I 
had told Josiah, like, I want to say at three years old, I told him, do you want to cut your hair? And um, he was just like, when he didn't care about his hair, so he was so okay with it. Jaden, on the other hand, um, at three, I'm like, do you want to cut your hair? And he was always just like, so, I don't know if it was it was because he was afraid of it, but he ended up getting used to his hair. And to me, that makes me feel good because if he's comfortable with his hair and he's happy, I'm happy. So, um, yeah, I'm just like so shook right now because Jaden is obsessed with his hair. I've, me and his dad have tried to cut his hair so many times, you guys. So many times, and recently, me and his dad kind of not got into an argument, but, you know, just talked some things out, because he told me he was going to cut Jaden's hair because of this reason. He's like, he Jaden's going to start school. I don't want him getting bullied. And I'm like, no, like, we can't, we can't let Jaden live his life like that. Like, we need to make him understand that, you know, like, Whatever makes him happy, he can make others happy. Like, nowadays, society wants everybody to be the same. Like, no, that's not how it works. And, you know, I talked to my baby's dad about that, and he's like, you know what, that's fine. Like, like basically, he was just saying whatever Jaden wants. Well, we both, I asked Jaden, and he was like, he didn't want to cut his hair. So, it's not that, it's not even that I'm trying to pressure him to have long hair. Like, I've posted so many videos of Jaden crying that we take him to the barber shop to get Josiah's haircut and he's crying because I'm like, you're next. And he's crying because he, like, is so obsessed with his hair. Now all of a sudden he wants to cut it because he's getting bullied. I feel like this is such a big thing. Like, that breaks my heart out. Like, that is so sad because no kid should ha no kid should be having to get bullied and, you know, um, basically tortured like that. And I feel like as parents, it's our job to teach our kids that, you know, to be kind and nice, and not only that, but that they shouldn't be putting, you know, yes, baby, yeah, you have, a, you have, like, 20 more minutes till school starts, so you have 20 minutes to watch TV, okay, So I feel as parents, we should do a better job with communicating with their children to be nice and kind. And I feel like even teaching them that everything is unisex, like even girl toys, dolls. My kids used to play with dolls when they were kids. And like, that's totally fine. They, they grow out of stages. Like you shouldn't be like, that's automatically for a boy. That's automatically for a girl. Like, no, like they end up you know, learning what they like and what they're into later in life, so, and whatever it is that they want to be, that's okay, like, I will, I will always support Josiah and Jaden's decisions in life, I will always support their decisions, because they're my babies, I love them, like, whatever makes them happy makes me happy, so, right now, I'm just so, like, I don't, it makes me not even want to send Jaden to school, like, but I've always taught Josiah and Jaden self-confidence and to love themselves. And so when Jaden was telling me this, like, I was, like, not even, I was, like, it's okay. Like, you know, just comforting him. Like, because people are always going to have their opinions. So it's, like, it's time for me to teach them that, you know, opinions don't matter. It's just as long as you love yourself. And it's only human of us to have opinions because that's what humans do we, the first thing we do is just um judge and have opinions but so i told you it's okay like people people are always going to say something but you can't please them you can't just satisfy what they want and feed into it so whatever makes you happy because that's what i live by people criticize me all the time and talk about me and judge me and they don't even know me like they don't even know my life they don't know who I am like they say that I'm a hoe I'm like the most scariest person when it comes down to it I'm so fucking scary and and I, that's all I go for like that's all I want is for my babies to be happy and I don't want him to change something just because of what others say I don't want him to live by that I want him to like live by him doing something for himself and him loving himself 
I think maybe what he needs is just time right now. Um, cause maybe eventually the kids will end up, you know, forgetting about it. Like right now it's the topic because, you know, they just started school, but I feel like later the kids will eventually know that that's who Jaden is. And hopefully, you know, it's so sad that kids are starting at such a young age, like even toddlers, toddlers even bully kids. I'm just like, this is crazy, like. This is so crazy, like, parents gotta do such a better job at disciplining the kids and, like, th there shouldn't be no sexism when it comes to anything, and, <sighs> I don't want to show Jaden that it bothers me or anything like that because I want him to know that, kind of, like, just brush it off your shoulder so he knows it's okay, and, um, so that's kind of what I did, you know, but I like wanted to break down and cry when Jaden told me because that's the word that's the last thing a parent wants to hear that their kid is getting bullied if it hurts their feelings it hurts our feelings and yeah I wouldn't I never would have thought like you know I mean I've always I've always kind of known like you know they're gonna switch school kids bully but I've always you know like when like my, my babies are so you know, I've always taught them to be so confident about themselves, and it just breaks my heart that Jaden wants to cut it because of that. I mean, I'm all for what he wants to do, but I don't want him to do it for the wrong reasons. I want to do. I want him to do it because he's comfortable with it. Like that's the reason I've never cut his hair, because if that makes him feel confident and comfortable, why am I gonna take that away from him? That I feel like parents should take their kids feelings into considerations of what they want about themselves like that you know like I feel like taking their self-confidence away just kind of messes with them growing up you know kind of makes them insecure and stuff it's it should be whatever they're in whatever they like and whatever they're into I'm not saying like give them whatever they want and do that like no it, like it, it it should be with whatever makes them feel comfortable with themselves but yeah, you guys, so I just came to talk to you guys and kind of update you guys on what's going on with Jaden school. And um, my advice to parents is just, you know, kind of talk to your kids. Even if you think you're doing the best job and your kids would never do that, you just never know. Like, I even talked to Josiah and Jaden to this day. I feel like I do everything I can to show them to be kind and nice and respect, please, thank you, like, I do, I, but every day I still tell them, you gotta be nice, no bullying at school, no you, putting your hands on other kids, like, if you have a problem, talk to your teacher, maybe she can help you out, like, you know, like, so even if you feel like you're doing the best job, just please talk to your kids every day, you know, I feel like this bullying stuff got to go, like, there should be no bullying, like, I, I can't believe it's still going on to this day, and it's only getting worse. So, I just woke up. I look at mess right now. Um, I'm about to take Jaden to school and I'm about to get my day started, you guys. Jaden, Thor has long hair. What? You don't have to wear the costume to say you're a superhero. You don't have to do that. Jaden, you don't have to wear a costume every day to prove that you're a boy, okay? You're a boy. Everybody knows that. You know that you're a boy. I know that you're a boy. Remember I told you the story of what, what Matt did to me? I used to have long, pretty hair. Matt cut my hair up to right here. And I was sad. I was crying. I didn't want to go to school. I hated school. I didn't want to go to school. It's whatever makes you... I know you're a boy, baby. Mommy, I know that you. I'm a boy. I'm cutting my hair. Did it? Whatever makes you happy, okay? So, look. If something makes you happy, you do it, okay? If something me, I do. I do. This is what I do, JJ. Everything I do, I do it because it makes me happy, not because I want to satisfy other people. Or because I want to make other people happy. No. What is that going to do for me? I'm going to make them happy and then I'm going to be sad. And then I'm going to be 
sad, mad, I'm gonna be crying, and that's not gonna make me happy just because I'm making them happy. You do something because that makes you happy. Okay? So if, like, you you go outside to play because you like doing that, that makes you happy. You're, you staying inside, that's not gonna make you happy. JJ, but no, you. Mom, I'm a boy. Yes, you're a boy, I'm baby. A boy. I'm killing my hair. JJ, I know that. Mom, you're killing my hair. Oh, JJ, I told you that's fine. We could cut your hair. I'm just trying to explain to you that everything is for everybody. You know that? You know, you know, Diosito, Diosito had long hair. You know that? You know, Diosito had long hair. Thor has long hair. He's a superhero. Everybody wants to be next to Thor. Everybody wants to be around him. And he has long hair. No, nobody does it because he wants to have long hair. No. Yes. That, well, okay, we're going to watch the movie today so you can see how... I'm really it. We're going to watch it today. I have the movie. We're going we're gonna to order it. We're not watching it. We're going to order the movie? No, I'm not going to watch it though. And... You're going to see... I'm going to close my eyes. You're going to see how everybody wants to be around him because he's a superhero and he saves people and everybody loves Thor and he has long hair. Okay, baby, well, come on, let's go. Um, so I think that Jaden is so stubborn, you guys. He's so stubborn. I think what I'm going to do is, like, just not bring it up to him anymore. I'm going to kind of let him forget about it. And, um, I'm just not going to talk to him about the whole hair situation. If he, if he brings it up to me again, then we'll talk about it. But, yeah, as for now, I'm just not even going to bring it up to him. And, um, I feel like it's really affecting him. I, I don't know, you guys. I'm just so, like... <sighs> I don't know what to do. Because I want my baby to feel good. I want him to feel loved and good about himself. And this whole bullying thing, like, I swear, like, it's just so fucking, I fucking hate it, you guys. Like, I fucking hate bullying. That's so fucked up. Like, and other kids have it worse. Like, like for being for being gay and stuff like that like who cares like people need to mind their own business <sighs> like this honestly breaks my heart because Jaden has always loved his hair like and it's something big to me because the fact that he's feeling this way um, no kids should be having to go through this, you guys. And no parent. Like, I feel like I'm crying right now because, like, imagine with the parents that the kids have done something to themselves, like, committed suicide, like, like, that. that's parents are you know like I don't know how they're going through that like the pain all because somebody don't like what, who you are what you're doing and it's it's fucking sad you guys like
and I'm all I'm all for cutting Jaden's hair, but I feel like I I feel like he's just being forced because he's getting bullied. I feel like I want him to do it for the right reasons. I want him to cut his hair. I'm getting a car wash right now, you guys. I want him like if I, if you would have told me like last month he wants to cut my I want to cut my hair, I would have known that it's because he wants to truly do it. But I feel like right now he's just being bullied, and he's kind of being forced to cut it. And um, so that's why I'm just like so. I f I feel like why like I was reading how this little boy. He's nine years old, you guys. Nine years old, and he came out saying how he was he was gay, and like he was just so proud and happy to tell everybody that he was gay, and he got bullied, and he ended up committing suicide. Like he killed himself because of that. And like, why should we live by other people's rules? Like, why? Like, that's so fucking stupid. Like, why can't? I feel like a lot of it has to do with parents too, because. They, sh growing up, they show them about sexism, like, like, if a little, if a little boy's carrying a doll, they're like, oh my god, like, laughing at the little boy, like, he's gay, he's, you know, like, he's gonna be gay, he's, like, he's holding a doll, and so kids automatically, they get that in their head, okay, dolls is for girls, and trucks and cars are for boys, like, no, no the fuck it's not like everything is for everybody and like that's what's going on with bullying these days because they automatically judge by that like i said i'm gonna talk to Jaden's teacher and then um i'm gonna tell her he's never wanted to cut his hair until now because he's getting bullied so hopefully this changes and the kids forget about it and they get used to Jaden and accept him for who he is and oh my god my lip are so fucked up right now and um yeah you guys please pray for me please pray for Jaden a prayer does a lot you guys and Jaden is so stubborn you guys so basically he's was trying to tell me that he wants to wear he's like I can't wear a superhero costume every day I'm gonna have to sleep with it on he thinks by him wearing a superhero costume is gonna prove to everybody that he's a boy and i even told him like girls wear superhero costumes but he's just being he's being so stubborn right now like Jaden is such a stubborn kid and like i don't know why like last night he was like i don't care i want to keep my hair i, I, I still want to keep my hair but this morning he just woke up and he just was like cut my hair i think he slept on it and he's like i want to cut my hair i'm getting a car wash right now you guys if you guys hear like some type of whistle in my car it's fucking annoying i hate it myself but it's because i have a bar light on my car and the air as it goes through it makes a whistle and um i haven't been able to get rid of that i heard the only way to get rid of it is if i take it off or even if um I, put, I just put loud music, so I am stuck with it until now. Um, yeah, you guys, I know I'm not the only parent going through something like this. Um, and if you are going through this, just teach your kid that, just show your, your kid that, you know, you love them, they're being well-loved, and that they're beautiful, and they're they're the most gorgeous kid ever and the coolest kid ever we cannot live by other people's rules and being different is good why do you want to be the same why do you want to fit into society society wants you to believe that you need to be one person only like no everybody's different in their own way you know i know Jaden will get through this and i think he just needs time right now he's just being stubborn um but I don't want to get to the point where, you know, it's really messing with him. So if he wants me to cut his hair, I'm going to cut his hair. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to give him time. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for helping me and always pushing me and supporting me. And that makes me feel better. I just get encouraged by you guys, by your comments, by, by your supportive comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.